PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, today I want to talk about the easiest possible way to cut holes with your plasma cutter. Ah. You don't need any big fandangle tool. I'll show you the easiest way to do it, the quickest way to do it. Same as usual guys, you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come see me at PeachTools.com and let's get into this, eh? So guys, I don't know if you're like me, if you want to do a circle, we want to cut a circle and a piece of steel, what I only did was just grab a tin like so, uh, as long as it was roughly what I wanted, like I want about 13 centimetres, so this is well, about 13 centimetres, well it's 12 and a half, but it's close enough, and what I do is this guys, just draw an outline around the outside of it, but I soon got sick of doing this because it was about as round as a square thing, if you know what I'm saying. You should just try and freehand cut it out. And if you guys are anything like me, well maybe you're a lot better at it than me. I sucked at it. But anyway, we'll do it and I'll show you what happens. Ridiculous man, how ridiculous Pete. That is a pretty disgusting hole. That that guys is about as round as a square thing. And there's a bit that we cut out and that's just disgusting as well. I mean you couldn't call that round. How the hell how the hell is that round? It's not really much cop at all, is it? Anyway, so then I figured out how to do it a lot easier. Just do it like this. This guys. is real complicated guys, just get the circumference or whatever you want to cut the hole. Get yourself a bit of welding wire or any wire that you've got, just a piece of scrap wire, just make sure it's not plastic because it'll burn. And uh, what I do guys, is I just measure halfway across. So if I measure, say roughly, from the halfway point here, to the outside, and this is just roughly, mind you, and just um, twist it up there, just to get it started. This welding wire can be quite stiff depending how thick of stuff you're using. I think this is 0.9, it's quite thick. So just start winding it up like that, guys. <laughs> Beautiful day here today, guys. It's really good. It's good to be alive today, actually. Wouldn't be dead for 100 bucks today. So we just measure that from the center like that and about there. So that's roughly about right, Pete. I might just tweak it up another couple. I just use my pliers just to get it a little bit tighter in the circle just like that guys and then what I do is just cut the end off like so like I said this is really really complicated guys cut the end off like what that what I left is, is this which is about half the diameter of what I want to cut real easy guys and then just do this guys so grab your old plasma cutter torch guys and just blow a little nick through whatever steel you're using just like that that's just straight through and what you want to do is grab yourself a screw like that Make sure the screw that you grab is not longer than the head of your torch because you don't want a hitting on here. So like that. Stick them in the hole that you just blew through there. Screwdriver. Screw them in there. Now you don't want to be doing this if you've got a hell of a lot of holes to do, but if you've got one or two holes, guys, I'd just do it this way. It's a lot easier. Stick them in there like so. You've got your screw in there. Now grab your bit of wire that we did and put the end that you've twisted around, put it the screw end and what I normally do is put it in the first run of this thread of the screw so when I'm winding it it goes down with the thread of the screw so you're not going against the tide if you know what I mean so see that that's actually winding that piece of wire down because you don't want to be going in the wrong direction if you understand what I'm saying so put it in the top thread of the screw like that so you got your wire in the top bit of the, the screw then your plasma cutter head, put it right into here like so, and then we'll cut out a circle, guys. Hee <laughs> hee! So here we go, guys. Let's give that a go, eh? Yeah. 
So what are we left with, guys? Let's have a look, eh? <laughs> what do you reckon? Not too bad for a boy, eh? And that's really, really simple to do, guys. It's a little bit bigger. Well, in fact, it's quite a bit bigger than my um, than my tin that I was going around, but it's definitely round. At least it's the round, like a round thing. What I need to do is shorten my wire a little bit, and we'll have another go, and I'll see if I can get one closer to the size of my tin, eh, guys? But you can see it works. It definitely works. It's really simple to do. Much like me, Pete. Simple. So, guys, as you can see, I've made it a lot shorter, so we'll see if we can get it closer to the diameter that I want. Well, right, guys, let's have a go and cut the smaller one, eh? <laughs> Beautiful. Right, what have we got left with, guys? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Not too bad for a boy, eh? <laughs> Beautiful looking hole. How close is it, though, Pete? How close? We probably still got it way wrong. Yep. Still got it way too small. But anyway, guys, you get the idea, eh? You can, uh, a little bit of mucking around, guys. If you get the right distance between the centre and the outside, you can cut almost perfect holes every time and it's so easy all you need is a piece of wire and a screw <laughs> so here's the two holes we cut guys the bigger one here and the smaller one here not too bad actually look they look pretty damn round to me especially doing it with a piece of wire and a screw it's pretty round eh anyway so that's how easy it is guys nothing tricky about that at all hey eh? so guys that's about all from Pete today remember easy way to cut big holes little holes any size holes you want with your plasma cutter same as usual guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come see me at peachtools.com and we'll see you next time. You guys look after yourself, eh? Peachtools.com.com